Welcome. Let us observe the sun. Starting off today, with this solar flare classification chart, showing the last three days of activity. On the 17th there was one M-class flare, and the rest are B, and C-class flares. Observed on the LASCOC2 filter, is a flare from the 18th, classified as a C-class at 6.32 magnitude. I'll pull back as the flare expands out through the C2 and into the C3 filters for a better perspective. Using this CME model the flare from the 19th is mapped, as Mercury and the Parker SP satellite gets a glancing glow of radiation. Here is measured the solar pressure for today, from the solar wind on the magnetosphere, for today with is in the mild range. This model shows the measurements, of the solar wind plasma, and radiation conditions, that will impact Earth. Showing a maximum of 582 km per second. Shown on this HMI, intensity map, are six sunspots regions, on the Earth-facing side of the Sun. Using the SDO-1700 filter, from the 17th, to the 19th, the sunspots can be observed. The coronal hole map, is showing two coronal hole regions, at this time. They can be observed on this SDO-211 filter, showing the 17th, through the 19th. Coronal holes are the source of fast solar wind streams, which sometimes have the potential to produce, minor to moderate geomagnetic storms. Here are a couple anomalies you may enjoy. First seen on this 171 filter a rod shape is seen moving over the sun's surface. I'll zoom in for a closer view. It seems to leave a trail behind. On this SDO-335 filter, a flash from an eruption, creates a vertical line, on the side of the Sun. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye, on the Sun for you.